all yes uh-huh <laughs> um i didn't actually underline any of these yes it's about 3 a.m uh-huh seem to be some big discussion about what i'm going to do <laughs> Well, I was just talking to a guy, and I have a phone. Ouch, it works. In fact, I made a phone call this morning and got a ride to go do some work. <laughs> now, uh, the first night, I stay up all night because nobody responded. Now, uh, it's 3 o'clock, right? The first meeting is available at 7. Yes. <laughs> Probably can walk over there at about 5.30 to 6 o'clock. Yes. Yes, you could. <laughs> Then uh, when that meeting gets done, the senior center opens at 8. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm um, thinking I'm getting some coffee there right at the meeting. You know, might even take some with me. <laughs> I don't actually have any money to uh, purchase any coffee. And I don't uh, really have any instant coffee. I mean, I have enough for one cup. Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> now, um, just so you know... Mm-hmm. I'm going to end up sitting here. We're going to go through all these felonies. <laughs> then we're going to look at the conspiracy of felonies. Pooh. <laughs> now, I didn't underline any of this because there's what's known as the, the fraudulent issue of stock or script. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fraudulent life insurance sale settlements. Yes. <laughs> fraudulent procurement or false entry on land title registration. Yes. Then there's the fraudulent representation of authority to harvest uh, specialized forest products. Uh, um, you know, I know a lot of uh, individuals realize the value of stock. and <laughs> Quite possibly your dog wanted to start a corporation. It could have been a pink sheet, or maybe you just thought you'd sell private placements. <laughs> <coughs> um, but for all the corporations that have issued stock, because they, you can buy a package of them, yeah. Could we just run through the corporations of this nation and every nation and uh, kind of look at the signatures? I know it's a big job. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, I just wanted to know uh, the stock and script. And then this life insurance settlement, uh, my grandmother had some life insurance. And she passed away in 2017. I'd emailed the... the well, the police department, the FBI, and some other individuals, and I hadn't seen that her probate, her estate had been probated. Yes, mm -hmm. but they had made all these amendments or changes to the laws in 2017, 2018 about elder abuse. Yes, her house was sold. Yeah, everything was removed. Yes. She had some life insurance. Yes. Did you get a death certificate of, of uh, Eunice's death? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> and then was she actually dead, or did you use a, a dog uh, lookalike so as to cause her death so that you could... Oh, 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 oh. Well, oh, why don't you give me the life insurance uh, that's been um, paid out? Um, and then I'd just like to know, is she alive or dead? <laughs> now, there's an injury to a public record. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel that my public record has been injured. It's a Class C felony. Pooch. <laughs> you know, when you use, uh, well, certified mail. Pooch. Um, registered mail. Uh, did you actually send the dissolution of marriage to uh, any post office anywhere in the United States, or did you address it to myself as the respondent? And there was two declarations of mailing, but there was only mail returned unclaimed 100 and 140 days later. <laughs> <coughs> Have you used my public record to cause some sort of injury to myself? I mean, <laughs> when you issue a protection order where allegedly I'd killed all my kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 2011, I was in prison for the rest of my life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, my sons had no knowledge of where I was at, obviously, until I got to Guam, oh, until I got to Clallam County. <laughs> Did Heidi have to tell him, well, I had to reissue another protection order <laughs> after I filed for disillusion for the allegation of trying to contact her through a third party, <laughs> uh, through a domestic violence advocacy program named Healthy Families of Clallam County? Yes. <laughs> Now, I would have thought uh, that it should have been on the next judicial day that you could have contacted uh, Nichols. Ouch. 
<coughs> Cochran, <coughs> Cowgill, Cow, Rom. <coughs> but you decided to wait 25 days. Yes. And then uh, you reissued it while I was in a jury trial and after the guilty was not guilty? Yes. Why doesn't my public record say not guilty when you uh, arrest me for... Ooch. Well, you did the mental health evaluations? Yes, he did. <laughs> but it doesn't say not guilty, does it? Um, what, what does it say? Oh, it's a district court case. Oh. Now, uh, just so that I know, if you searched for my name on any computer, Budnick Paul, yes, and you saw those disillusions and the, the protection orders, <laughs> is there any possibility that no one ever found out that I was found not guilty? Yes, as in I wasn't a domestic abuser and mm, I didn't violate the provisions of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a class C felony. <laughs> Ah. Now, there's an injury to and misappropriation of public record by officer. Yeah. Is it an injury to my public record to have an arrest on January 4th of 2016? Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the two-count criminal complaint that was issued by a traffic citation instead of actual uh, domestic violence form? Yes. Well, the petitioner didn't sign it. Yes. And you didn't admit the evidence that I wasn't there? Mm-hmm. And you interviewed me, and you didn't question me. Coach. Now, I think there's some injury, okay, uh, to and uh, misappropriation of the public record by an officer. Yes. Class B felony for those in the Squim Police Department. <laughs> Port Angeles. <laughs> yeah, I think you intentionally caused injury to both my uh, public record and then injury to and the misappropriation of my public records by an officer. Yeah. Now, um, there's the uh, issuing of false academic credential. Oh, oh, oh. Now, there's a big question about Heidi's teaching degree. Pooch, academic credentials. <laughs> and the degree from Heritage University. Yes. And the, uh, the support and scholarship money that she received. Yes. As a single welfare mother in her 40s that was supporting six children. <laughs> Uh, this academic record and the credentialing that uh, was allowed because of it? Yes. Could you get me all the financial aid that Heidi received from July 2nd of 2011 from the time of the abduction of my sons <laughs> until, well, until her last pay increase at the Brendan School District? <laughs> now, that's a Class C felony. Now, leading organized crime? Mm-hmm inciting criminal profiteering that's a class b felony Ooch, for you in the conspiracy <coughs> um, it is an actual organized crime to refuse to respond to the knowledge of crime yes now police and sheriff's department have the obligation to exonerate any person accused of a crime but you didn't get the evidence from june 16th <laughs> you didn't get the bus surveillance camera footage after i told you that about a thousand times <laughs> You didn't get the email from December 31st at 4.48 p.m. that I'd sent from the Port Angeles Library. <laughs> you remember those impossible crimes that you can get convicted of where you're not in a city on the date and time of the allegation of the crime? <laughs> where you're found guilty of being mentally ill, mentally defective, and you need to go to a mental facility? Yes. Yes, the impossibility crimes. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that uh, there is some organized crime going on on the part of those in law enforcement. <laughs> the crime of refusing to enforce the laws that make it a crime to take a person's possessions. Yes. <laughs> Thrash a person's place of dwelling. Pouch! 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 Now, uh, I know we usually think about uh, organized crime as individuals that are not in law enforcement. <laughs> But it had to be organized, didn't it? <laughs> did somebody, Sheriff, did you say, well, he's a mentally ill homeless man? Poo, 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 poo. Yeah, you did say that. <laughs> now, uh, you've been leading organized crime and uh, you've been inciting criminal profiteering. Yes. All of those on the payroll that got paid to torture me. Poo, now, there's a big question of the lottery fraud. <laughs> I had found out that somebody did have some knowledge about exactly how to fraudulent play the lottery and if it's the monopoly game of Safeway. Yes, documented certain things. Yes, he did. <laughs> there are the actual uh, lottery locations, you know, the um, scratch tickets uh, that are sold outside of the actual uh, 
uh, well, you know, it used to be, yes, mm, mm. those locations where you don't have to check the ID, pooch, it's a type of fraud, isn't it? <laughs> Let's say a bunch of 15 to 18-year-olds decided to buy lottery tickets for the last 10 years, and mm, the lottery was actually fraudulently profiting from the corruption of minors, yes, the, the degradation of minors, and... Since you put those machines outside of the actual responsibility of the cashiers, yes, I remember the Chevron when I first got here. <laughs> I walk in and the machine says, well, why don't you buy a lottery ticket? I said, well, why don't you go fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> now, it said it to my brain. If you don't believe that, okay, then don't. <laughs> but I thought that somebody had connected all the lottery machines. In fact, give me every lottery location. All of those um, lottery, um, they're not a kiosk. Yes, mm -hmm. They're like a point of sale. Pooch, you get 7% for every lottery ticket sold. And a lot of convenience stores, they like to sell a lot more than what they're actually legally allowed to sell. I think there's some lottery fraud. Pooch. <coughs> Could you get the servers of all the lotteries everywhere in the world? And UVB. All the lottery machines that did not record the, did not, uh, did not, uh, record, did, 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 didn't record, <laughs> just give me the lottery machines, <laughs> every GPS location of them, and there was no infrared that was influencing the actual thoughts of those that were on welfare or food stamps or thought they needed to buy a few extra hundred dollars worth of lottery tickets every month thinking they'd win the big one. Could be some fraudulent uh, lottery winnings, and fraudulent sale of lottery scratch tickets. Yes, there could. And then there's always that big question. Okay, psh, 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 psh. why do we have the big winners? All right, all right. <laughs> now I know it's three ten. Everybody's sleeping. I'm sitting out here. 